Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a what's on my iPhone. Um, like last year, during December, I'm pretty sure. And you guys seem to really like it. So now I'm gonna be filming a little update video to that because there's been a bunch of changes to my phone. Hey guys, so little interruption before we get started with this video. Just wanted to say a few things. First and foremost, I was wearing like a completely different outfit underneath the dress I was wearing in this video. And guess what? I was too flat, so the straps of the tank top kept coming kept coming down my arm throughout the video. So if you see anything dangling from my arm, you know the reason. But we're not going to talk about it because that's really embarrassing. Anyways, also, I made an Instagram, you guys. It's at Kate Leica, Kate with a 3, K-A-T-3, Leica. I live 41 followers right now, so please go follow me. I am in need of clout. Just kidding. It's currently 2 a.m., so I'm going to go to bed now because I have school tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, so here's my phone. This is the current case I have on. I'm not sure where it's from. All I know is it's not from Case Defy. So this is my home screen. As you can see, there's these two super cute cats. I have this super cute quote up here that says, August slipped away. Even though it's not August anymore, it's like October. Also, if you guys see down here, I have this notification from this app called I Am. This is basically an affirmations app. Um, yeah, it just sends me a bunch of notifications throughout the day, like lots of positive reminders. It's such a great app, but yeah, that is my lock screen. So now let's go to my homepage. So this is my first page. Definitely a bit random. Like everyone else, I don't really use this page. For my background, it's me in Mont Saint-Michel when I visited France. Literally looks like a Disney film. I love this photo so much because it gives me so much flashbacks and memories of this vacation spot. But I do have these three widgets, this little reminder um from pinterest it says stop sacrificing your mental health for other people this butterfly my current favorite spotify podcast busy yet pretty and then you have my clock i have lots of alarms it's just never ending that's that um yeah so then we have my second page this page is really for self-care and my wellness some emojis that came to my mind when i thought of like mental health and just calming down and then i have another medium widget it says 777 if you didn't know that's my angel number i don't know what angel numbers do i think it means good luck so i just put it there it's a great reassurance just like zodiac signs i also have this a uh, small widget of the app called stoic it's basically a whole wellness app you can do journaling planning out your day breathing exercises meditating everything you need to start your wellness journey is in this app here are all the exercises that they have here. Um, and then this is Shine. So this app is kind of like stoic. There's this background noise whenever I open the app. Well, so therapeutic. So you can do some reflection on here. I'm going to reflect on my current mood right now. It's basically uh, set in a texting format. Um, so you can vent on here to a robot who will help you stay sane. Okay. And then I have my healthcare and fitness uh, folder. I basically have Stoic, Endel, and Alibud. Let's first of all talk about Endel. This app is basically a soundscape app. It tracks your sleeping. Uh, you can set scenarios and they will customize uh, soundscapes for those scenarios specifically. So I think this is really creative. And then the second app that I have on this folder is called Alibud. This is a self-care app. It gives you some instructions and reminders. For example, reminder to hydrate. So again, like all my other apps, there are some prompts. So here it says, how can you show yourself kindness today or in the future? I will say getting a massage, doing a face mask, and then I just press complete. And yeah, this is Alibud for you, I'm pretty sure. Okay, on to the third page. I am obsessed with my third page because of all these cute little funky widgets. So let's start off with the first and most noticeable one. I have my own personal Christmas countdown widget. It says Christmas is in two months and 23 days. I love Christmas so much. So I designed this whole entire page to have some Christmas colors. So as you can see, most of my app icons are red and green then the top widget i have 
is inspirational quotes make yourself a priority work on you for you and then down here i have a daily reminder it says to smile drink water work out and remember why you started to spread love and then positivity okay so first and foremost i have my tiktok make sure to go follow my tiktok by the way it's at katherine zebra that's my tiktok account for you please go follow it because i'm in need of clout please go follow me <laughs> just kidding yeah and we have spotify so the first playlist that i've ever made is called mood booster whenever i feel sad i always come to this playlist and press play it just has the best um songs ever then i have this other playlist that i randomly made up it says survivor poem because i was making a poem on being a survivor so i created a playlist to kind of set the mood and the tone for my poem and just make me feel inspired. If you guys are writing something or making something and you need to focus on a theme, I really recommend making a Spotify playlist for that because it really helps. Those are the playlists that I wanna show you guys, the one that I take a bit of pride in. Okay, I'm not gonna go through my YouTube because that's just pretty boring, but I do have my Pinterest. Here's what my home currently looks like. Quite aesthetic, but it just really lacks that fall vibe, so. Also, make sure to go follow my Pinterest. It's at Kate Laka. And then we have Netflix, which is got the popcorn emoji for this. There are the five Netflix profiles. I have two because my parents used to lock my account and made it like 16 plus. 16 plus gives you a range of movies to watch, but like you don't get the full package. You don't get the full feel and sense of Netflix. So I made my own account. Okay, on to the fourth page. This page is my page that I made um, for school specifically. I don't like the abs I have on here, but I do love the widget. So the first widget I have says, remember to get some rest. And then the second one says, you deserve the world. It has the tiny frog holding up the sign. My heart is melting. So then obviously I have this medium widget. It says be happy. I kind of get this retro feel when I see this widget. So I put it there. First and foremost, I have fitness on here. What the hell? Um, I haven't set anything on here. I've never been to here before. So I'm not going to go into this app just yet. Not today. I have notes. Here are some of my notes. I have some reminders for school. I made my own night routine here on notes. So here is what my night routine looks like and consists of on a typical basis when I have school. Oh, I also wanna show you guys my wish list. This is definitely one of my favorite notes. Here are some of my stuff that I have for my wish list. I have the glow water bottle, I have a matcha mask on here, sweater, Spotify plaques, Okay, um, another one of my favorite notes on here is one that I often revisit a lot. I have my name inspo um, page. Yeah, honestly, if I were to have a baby, it would be only for the purpose of making their name. I want to show you guys the boy names because I love the boy names that I wrote down here. So I have Aspen and Adeline, Arlo, Alice, Miles, Archie, Kai, Kyle, Leo, August, and Conrad. Those are the names that I would love to name a baby boy. And then for girls, I have the list is too long, so I'm not even gonna make an effort to read it, but you guys can screenshot um, my screen recording and go through the name list yourself and see which one you like. Um, and then I have my school folder. I have around 4,000 unread Gmails, but who cares? Um, I have Google Translate, which I often use um, when I'm learning Chinese. The app below the school folder is called Flora. This is a focusing app, so here's how it looks like. Um, basically, how this app works is you type down what you want to focus on. So for example, I'm going to say I'm focusing on studying to start, but I'm not. Also, if you can hear that, I'm so sorry. My neighbors are currently doing some gardening, so a bit annoying. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so my neighbors have not stopped gardening yet. So basically, they stopped. They stopped, yes. Okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna speak before they do again. So basically, oh my. So essentially, um, this app lets you plant trees. So if you finish the timer, uh, you will get to plant a tree somewhere. Then if you uh, get out of the app, at any time, 
while you're studying, you will kill the tree that you made. Okay, so the app directly under this is not really school related, more of YouTube and social media. The app is called Rella. This is a social media planning app. You can plan out um, posting schedules and stuff like that. You can also put in your goals. So for example, if I am um, making a YouTube video, I'll press YouTube, I'll press video. You can upload a thumbnail in here. You can write down the title. So for example, I'm filming a what's on my iPhone video. And then you can schedule a time. So that's briefly how this app works. I'm gonna press save and then I have this video lined up. Um, so yeah, that's Rella. And then the next app directly next to it is called Sessions. This is quite like Flora, but, but this is formatted in a an easier way, I'd say. So this app basically tracks down the amount of time you spend doing for your activities. So just press start, doing some studying. Okay, now let's get on to my one, two, three, four five, four, my fourth page. So I have three super cute widgets on here. I have this um, heart with the aura background. Then the widget um, above it says, settle into your own pace. So pleasant to look at. Then the next widget I have is this tiny little baby um, sleeping on the couch, so cute. Um, if I were to have a dog, I'd have one that looks like this. Um, but this page is basically super boring. I have my settings, I have, um, the 7-Eleven app on here. Then I have this really random folder. I don't use any of these apps except for one. Shazam, Charzam. I'm pretty sure everyone knows it by now, but if you don't, basically you press tap on here and if there's a song going on, for example, I can sing like, and it will come up with the name of the song to inform you what the song is. It's really convenient, especially when you're going out and you hear really memorable tunes. Now let's go to my last page. This is definitely my favorite page in terms of widgets, at least. So the first widget I have is a large widget. It says your four homes, body, earth, mind, and family slash, slash friends. It's kind of like a reminder reminding me um, what I should take care of because of course we live on earth. The earth is our home but my body is also my home because I live in this body and my mind is also my home because it's a function because of the mind. Family and friends have a special place in my heart. If I can't go to my home physically, I go to them and I feel like home when I'm with them. And then I have this really contradicting widget. It says, don't believe everything you think. I think it's really contradicting to, to how inspirational my other quotes are, but Sometimes we just all need to be self-aware. And then the widget right next to it. I wanted a widget to do with planets to kind of match uh, my phone case. But I have these two widgets to kind of make this seem more spacey. <laughs> so the quote says, I don't need the world to see that I've been the best I can be. First things first, I have this folder. I have a bunch of apps for measuring and like units and stuff like that. So I have calculator compass and measure and then the two apps i have underneath here is tiktok and widgetsmith which is completely unrelated to the folder itself but i had nowhere to keep this so i put it here and then i have a few few more folders this one is apple essentials i have mop prom because you know i need to get vaccinated all right and then last but not least the last app that i'm going to show you guys is called chayin honestly i feel like i I'm promoting this app too much. This is basically charades. There's a bunch of different categories you can play on here. For example, I'm gonna press capital city. So the person who is guessing um, puts this on their head. So the person speaking has to try to make you guess what is on here. So if I get it correct, do this. If I don't, I do that. Yeah, that is the last app that I'm gonna show you guys today. And yeah, that completes everything that I have on my phone. If you guys like this video, make sure to thumbs up. And if you want to see more technology related videos, make sure to comment down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing everything on my phone. Oh, and before you leave, say cheese. Let's check how you look like, shall we? Oh my God, look, you're so pretty. I'm oh, just kidding. Um, before I get canceled, but I actually need that.